for the Lord gives wisdom from his mouth come knowledge and understanding Proverbs chapter 2 verses 6 Hello family, a very warm welcome back to the Lovey Touch Food channel. Thank you so much for coming back. I'm super excited today because I get to share with you one of my favorite breakfast recipes ever. This happens to be Hausa Coco or Spice Millet. It's porridge. really, really cozy and very, very healthy to have as breakfast or even lunch or dinner. Honestly, it is so, so good. So let's get started with this. For the main ingredient, we have our millet. Today, I'm going to be using the finger millet, which is the red ones. And I'm going to spice it up with some ginger, dried peppers. And I do also have some cloves grains of salem and black peppercorns you can definitely go ahead and add lots more spices if you so wish all right so what i'm doing here is i'm picking out the bad millets from the good ones and this is done by adding water to it and all the bad ones will float on top like this and the good ones will settle right at the bottom as you see on your screens so when that happens go ahead and get rid of it do this for about three to four times to make sure that everything you have in here is very well cleaned all right So yes, you also saw me rub it in between my palms to just make sure it's very well clean and I've gotten rid of all the unwanted dirt. And once I get that done, I'll add new water, strain it off and add more until I achieve this beautiful millet as you see on your screen. These are very well clean. I'm going to set it aside chop my ginger into small pieces like this and get all my spices ready so what we are going to do is add all our spices together with the millet and we are going to soak this and leave it on room temperature for 24 hours we want a little bit of fermentation to take place by doing it like that it brings the authenticity out it brings that beautiful aroma to it and it also helps extracts lots more juices from all these ingredients you have here all right so i'm going to push it away <laughs> and allow it to stay on the counter for 24 hours you can do more if you also leave it in the fridge as well okay so 24 hours you see here as you can see it has been fermented as we said lots of juices are going to be released and it smells amazing just as it should be <laughs> so we are going to blend everything up please do not discard the water that comes with it it is very very important it has lots and lots and lots of nutritional benefits in here okay so i'm going to add all the water and i'm going to blend it until it is very smooth and very very nice So now that we've blended all these beautiful ingredients, we're going to take out the chaff from the juice because we want this porridge to be as silky and smooth as possible. So with the help of my cheesecloth, I'm going to strain all the juices out as you see on your screens. By the way, if you want to also make some millet drink, you can definitely end here. It is so, so, so good. I've already shared a recipe of that. I'm going to link below and here as well. Okay, so these are all the chaff we got. We're going to go ahead and allow it to stay on the counter overnight or at least 12 to 24 hours. So this is exactly how you want your base to look like. This is absolutely great and the aroma is just purely authentic. One important thing about leaving it overnight is it also helps the food settle at the bottom and you get oily water on top like this. 
please do not discard that gorgeous water we need that all right so take a little bit of the water about two cups of it and i'm going to put it in my pot and i'm going to allow it to gently boil all right so we really need this part of the mixture to make our porridge and you really want to make sure that it is very smooth just so that you do not create lumps in your porridge so this is how your mixture should look like okay so in our pot the water is boiling oh once you open it you just smell the amazing hausa cocoa aroma which is so 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 good so you can also see some foamy substance on top so please make sure that you take that out so once you've cleared all that foamy substance we're now going to add the remaining part of the porridge and this is where the porridge is going to form you need to make sure that your fire or heat is completely off because all we need for this porridge to get ready is just the heat and that is why i love to use my clay pot it's so great to absorb all the heat needed it's absolutely incredible so please make sure that you're stirring it vigorously because you do not want any lamps formed here at all if any lamps comes here you have failed yes <laughs> and we do not want that and as you're stirring it gets thicker and thicker and thicker please make sure you do not add cold water when it gets to this point all you need is some hot water okay which is going to help this porridge cook very very well so at this point it all boils down to how thick you like it i think i love it in between so however you like it go ahead and add the amount of water to help you achieve just that all that you have to do right now is to cover it for the next five to ten minutes and allow the heat to do its work so after about five minutes of covering it this is what we got the beautiful texture and it smells super divine in here we are now done and we're going to serve it and enjoy honestly this is one of the perfect breakfasts you have it just brings you that beautiful energy you need for the day and it's just so so healthy you feel like your mind body and soul is intact once you have hausa coco for breakfast and it's best served with some akara or kose or some pink castle as well guess what i've shared all these recipes here on this channel i'm going to link each and every one below in the description box and the porridge however you can serve it with a little bit of sugar some peanuts a lot of people love to also add evaporator milk to it whichever way i think is just so so perfect so there you have it family thank you so much for watching please be sure to give me a like comment below and share to a few friends and family you never know who is going to thank you for this okay please share it around and if this is your first time here hello my name is lovia from lovistat my main goal here is to cheer you up into making your own delicious meal right at the comfort of your home i also love to share kitchen related motivational videos so please come on board <laughs> and subscribe to join the family for amazing new recipes every week thank you so very much family for watching once again and just know that you are so beautiful just the way you are see you in my next one 